Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocats. In today's video, we will look at how to make a user-defined cam in Mitsubishi PLC FX5U. Uh, here I have used FX5-40 SSC as my simple motion module and I have already made a function block to generate a cam. So let's see how it is done. So first of all, I will just create a new project with the FX5U as a PLC and uh, I will just go to the parameter section and add one 40 SSC that is my simple motion module in the project. So click OK and make sure that you use the module levels like module level here is not used. So I will just change the setting from here and click on yes and OK. If you do not do so, then you will have to manually, you know, insert the module levels. I will click OK to take a little bit of time to add the modules here. Okay, so now as we have added the for motion module, uh, I will go to the element selection element selection here and I will go to the library part. As you can see here, you can see that module labels are already added for FX40 SSC. Let me show you. See, it is already added. If it is not, then you have to right click and then click add module if the module are not added in that case only. Now we have to go to the library. I will just add the registered user library which I have already made. So this is my cam coordinate cam function block. I click OK. Now you can do one thing you can you know uh, from go to function block click right and add to project create FB file. It will automatically show it here in the FB function block area. Okay. So now you can drag and drop it here in the main program and click OK. Now, in this uh, whole <coughs> program, we will write like um, you can use generate cam. Okay, local variable is okay. And uh, uh, generation cam complete, you can use. Click okay, local variable. Now, uh, cam number. Let's suppose uh, I'm right. I'm using K2 as my cam, and cam operation. Uh, let me expand it. Cam uh, operation points. So uh, the this function block is for 10 points. So let's use K only four points here. So this is my input value PT1. That means the value of my master, and this is my ma uh, slave value. For point number one then again we have master point two and slave point two like this so for master point uh, master point one let's say k thousand is the value <coughs> and for slave k two thousand or you can say twelve hundred say now for point number two it's k four thousand and let's just at that time we want our slave to be at five thousand Okay, and uh, for point three, let's say k uh, seven thousand, and uh, here we do k nine thousand. Point number three, point number four is k eight thousand, and again k nine thousand. And point number five k ten thousand. So these these are just random values on how you can make a cap. So like K10,000, these are all random values. So this is all you want to do. Just go to the convert part, rebuild all, click OK. Now let me show you what's inside this function block. So I have this enable bit here. And uh, I've used this uh, module labels here, like cam operation cam number that we have. I think we have done it uh, K2 or yes, K2. Okay. And uh, these are all the uh, size and format and cam resolutions, starting point, starting point is 00. And this is my first data for master. 
and this is first start for slip so this is how you can you know if you want to make your own function log you can copy and paste this section from here then going to the uh, programming part let's save this project and uh, let's uh, let me show you how to generate a cam now so i will start the system some later okay it's already it just System monitor start <coughs> add system click OK X5 view and for TSSC start <laughs> once it is starts go to the on um, from this section again connect the simulator with for TSSC connect download the program execute now once I press the generate cam button we will automatically see that in our motion module we can view the cam generated like for K2 cam number K2 But before generating the cam, let's take a look at uh, what's inside the motion module setting at present. Because we haven't uh, done anything yet, so it will be most probably blank. Click OK and close. Now motion module setting. section it's nothing it's blank so let's see we have k4 number and we have used sorry we have used five points so let's edit the cam to 0.5 we shift at four and yes transfer the program Now let's enter the cam. It's right complete. Now let's upload the motion module setting once again to check whether we have generated the cam successfully or not. Click OK. Writing is complete. Click close. Open the motion module setting. Now go to the cam section here. As you can see, cam number two is generated. Click here. Now check the values. Okay, so the values we have is 1000, 1200, 4000, 5000, 7000, 9000, 8000, 9000 and then 10,000, 10,000. So this is how you can make a cam, uh, a user defined cam uh, as per your requirement for the machine. So that's all in this video. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.